today. Last breakfast. Some cocoa pops and some mango and watermelon. Last coffee. Steph's having noodles and bread for some reason. Because she's a grot bag. Then we're gonna eat this and then. Not lying in the bed again for an early two days. Not lying in the bed again for a long time. A very long time. Half past ten. Doing the dreaded pack. Blech. And then have a shower. And then sit around for five hours. <laughs> Waiting for to go to the airport. Saying goodbye to the room. Bye room. Bye room. We are packed. And now we are going to wait for another half hour and make the most of this beautiful, 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 beautiful aircon before spending five hours in the terrible sun. So we've been like haunted by this fruit called durian the entire time we've been here. It smells fucking awful. So Dave has just brought some to try. That's weird. It's not horrible, but it's got like a herby taste. Yeah. Uh, creamy. I think it might be good off. Um, I don't like it, but it doesn't taste as bad as it smells. So it's about half twelve. We're back from the shop. Got ourselves some water because it's a damn sight cheaper than buying it here. I've got my new fake Ray Bans that actually say Roy Bon. I've spent. Sun cream all in your hair. I've got sun cream all in my hair, so my hair doesn't get burnt and we've sat ourselves at the same seats that we have done for most of this week just enjoying enjoying the the sea for the last time and then we've got to wait around for about five hours so we can go to the airport for a million years mm -hmm. lunch time got to eat quite a lot today well got to have a substantial lunch because we won't be eating again until about eight o'clock when we get to saigon airport so we've gone for a big old pizza. And Stephanie's gone for a big old curry. <laughs> and it's gonna be nice. Just taking in the view for the last time, trying to ignore the people playing volleyball. It is about 10 past five Vietnam time. And touch wood, if everything goes according to plan, we should be walking into our front door about 24 hours exactly from now. It's going to be so horrible. <laughs> and a little guided tour of the uh, departures pit. There's one end. Food, Got Burger King. And there's the other end. And we're here for an hour and a half till our flight leaves. Woo! So this is the story of our next 23 or so hours of our lives. Uh, it's just gone six o'clock. Our flight here leaves at 20 to eight. So we've got here far too early. Um, then we have, it's about a half hour, 40 minute flight. So we'll land in Saigon about half eight-ish. Uh, probably get out the, get our bags, maybe 20 minutes say nine, there's about a 10, 15 minute walk around to the international terminal, check in, see if there's any reasonably priced upgrades. Um, we'll probably get in there about nine, half nine. And then it's another long old wait because our flight from Saigon doesn't leave then till midnight. Then it's a 13 hour flight. It gets back about seven, half seven. It gets back about seven, half seven UK time. And we've obviously got to get through, um, get our bags and get out of Heathrow. And then it's about an hour and a half on the train, all told, from Heathrow to Swindon. It's gonna be a long time and Stephanie is so happy. Hopefully we'll be able to sleep a bit on the plane, but purely based on the fact that it's leaving here at midnight. 
so we'll be a bit naturally tired, uh, but not looking forward to it greatly, I must be said. So we've landed in Ho Chi Minh, which is good. One flight down, the very much shorter flight now. I have the emergency door seat, and I think we've both learned that we don't like having the emergency door seat. Stephanie says no, because you can't see out the window, and I like to look out the window. So we live and learn, don't we, Stephanie? We do. Uh, now we've got to get through, get our bags, go all the way to the other terminal, and I'm bloody starving. It's going to be a long old walk, isn't it? Uh, so we tried to get an upgrade, and then we're told that they don't do upgrades here. That's only in London. Uh, <laughs> uh, and despite what I was literally saying about half hour ago about hating the aisle seat, we got offered the aisle seat and lack of window or free leg room for 13 hours. It's a trade off where you take the free leg room. And it, free leg room. Yeah. So, hey ho. Uh, apparently, it's a full flight, which I'm a bit skeptical about. But, and, uh, We've got about three hours before we can board. Yay! Just gone 10 o'clock. We've got two hours till we board. I'm guessing they've just put sauce in that burger when she asked for no sauce because she's just stormed off. Uh, I'm so tired. About 45 minutes to go to the gate opens. Passing the time. One last Vietnamese beer, Stephanie. Stephanie's got her sleeping pills out. We are both shattered. Do you reckon you'll sleep? <laughs> yeah, you will. Hopefully. Hopefully we both do. So they've given us a bit of supper on the plane, watching a bit of Modern Family. two and a half to go. Uh, I've had about a half hour sleep. I am shattered. I think Steph's done alright. Steph's had a bit more sleep than I have. Um, she's currently watching A Star Is Born. We both watched the um, Freddie Mercury film at different times. Both enjoyed that. I'm currently watching A Free Solo. It's about this lunatic who just climbs mountains without wires and uh, yeah we're just about to leave Russia which is down there um, I imagine we'll probably get food in about an hour or so because I am starving and yeah tired and starving that's me for the next three days I think hour and a half left just gave us breakfast. I've gone for uh, omelette with bacon. Some noodles. Got a bit of fruit. Watermelon. I'm going to eat Steph's fruit. Excuse me, would you like that watermelon? Give me a bottle. And I think a yogurt. How much sleep have you had? I've had about half hour sleep. Steph's had about two hours sleep. Yeah, tired. Out, we've been on this plane for nearly 15 hours. Yay! So, we've got our bags. Oh, look at the bags under my eyes. Talking about bags, and uh, we are now waiting for the Heathrow Express 
to take us to Hayes and Harlington. It's not every 10 minutes, like Dave said. I thought it was every 10 minutes, but evidently I'm wrong, as per usual. Uh, and then we go from Hayes and Harlington to Reading. And then we go from Reading to Swindon. And let's just... We're going if you're to not Reading now. Happy is going to to leave the train. Happy! We are very sleep deprived. But we're only about an hour away from home. On our last train from Reading to Swindon. Standing up in the carriage. Cause it's far too busy. We've done our planes, we've done our trains. Yay! Now we've got our automobiles. Anne has picked us up and we are very close to being home now. And we are very, very happy about that. Whoop, We're whoop, home. Whoop. We're home. Yay! Three weeks, six months after leaving. <laughs> uh, no, three weeks, six days after leaving. We're home. Bean! Bean, we're home! Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, and we're gonna do nothing all day. <laughs>